Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So over here, I have a Windows 10 running. So this Windows 10, we have been using it a lot in terms of penetration testing, understand more about Windows processes, and learning all we can about penetration testing. So if you open up the File Explorer and you go under this PC, we can go to Local Disk C. And once you're in local disk C, there will be a users folder. So you're probably looking at fake log on screen as well as PSEXE64. So these are the different kind of tutorials that we have done previously about how we can actually do a fake log on screen as well as doing some reverse shell on PSEXE64. Okay, so do subscribe to the channel to learn all about cybersecurity if it is your first time here. So moving forward, we got a couple of users here. So we got three users. The first user is default zero, and the second user is Loy Liang Yang. So Loy Liang Yang is the currently access and log on to user, and we have default user zero. So you'd be interested to know what is this purpose of this account. So default user zero is an account that is used during the Windows installation process. And if of course, if you're going to command prompt, you can actually enter net user. Okay, so let me zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see the fonts here. So let me zoom that into 24. And we can enter, for example, net user. And we see this really interesting setup. So we got default user zero inside the number of users of this computer. So what we can do is we can actually reactivate the account again and try to run commands and processes as default user zero. And the purpose of doing this is because as we go through a number of the cybersecurity tutorials, we are doing different kind of process migration because we want access into different kind of files, folders, understanding more information about the system in question. And at the same time, also using this information and data to try to gain access to other computers and devices. So all this will be further explained in subsequent tutorials. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and activate this account so that we can log into this account and run processes as though we are default user zero. So what we can do right now is enter net user followed by default user zero. And what we do next is followed by slash active followed by yes and hit enter on that. Okay, so we got access is denied. So this is system error five. So what we got to do is to open up command prompt again and do a right click and run as administrator. So click yes on that. And now we will retry the command. So net user followed by default user zero as the account followed by slash active and yes and hit enter on that. So the command completed successfully. We have managed to reactivate the account inside the system. So what we'll do next now is to set a password for it so that we can log in to the account and run processes as though we're default user zero. Okay. So what we do now is net user default user zero followed by a very simple password of one two three four five six seven eight. Hit enter on that command completed successfully. So now we have the account running and we want to log in to this account and run as though we are using this account. So go ahead and enter run as. So run as is a way for us to run as different user accounts inside a Windows computer. Okay, so what we can do now, run as followed by slash user, default user zero. And now we can enter, for example, what do we want to run as? And of course, the most powerful way to do it is through command prompt because command prompt, we can start different kind of processes. We have more control about what we want to do as the user. So go ahead and enter CMD. So again, enter password for default user zero. Hit enter on that. And now we have a separate command prompt. So I can go ahead and increase the font size so it's easier for you to see. And I can enter who am I. And directly from here, we have access into default user zero. So what can we do from here? What we can do is we can enter, for example, start to start a process as this current user who is logged in as default user zero. And we can enter, for example, start I explore. So we can surf the internet as though we are coming from default user zero. So go ahead and hit enter on that. So this will start up the Internet Explorer process as default user zero. So close this. We can go under task manager. Under task manager, we can look at all this information that we're running on. 
and we also can also click on users so if you click on users we can look at all these different user details and information of this particular user we can look at performance and so on and so forth but what's really important for us is to look under details so under details we can actually sort by the username so in this case we can see we have the default user zero running all right, so we got iExplorer, we got dllhost.exe, and so on. So again, all this information, all these processes that we have started is now running on default user zero. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.